And so I guess the first question I have about, about this topic is how are children's hospitals thinking about innovation given the climate? I can take that one. I think that innovation is a requirement in this day and age in order to make sure that we are offering a a world-class patient experience in order to make sure that we are that we have differentiated ways that patients can engage with their information, with their services at our hospital. But at the same time, because we're in the PEED space, we are all the more risk averse compared to the healthcare industry in general, which is already risk averse. So we definitely are looking for startups that have validated outcomes. We are looking for solutions that really align with our institutional goals. And we're not in the business of taking risky bets. We're more so the, I wouldn't say the late adopters, but we're not going to be the first adopters. We take a much more tempered approach to some of the newer innovation products that are coming on the market. How do you think about institutional priorities? You mentioned that you try to find companies that align with your goals. How, How are you thinking about those? Our institutional goals are aligned around patient acquisition, making sure that we are, um, here at Children's Hospital, we will never turn away a patient due to their ability to pay. So we want to make sure that we are attracting a diverse patient population, diverse in terms of payer sources, as well as in terms of all of the other determinants that you can think of when you think of diversity. Um, We are a safety net hospital, but we want to make sure that we are able to cover all of the patients, including those that are, are not able to pay for services. We also are very focused on workforce retention. We know that burnout in healthcare is a huge issue. And with PEDS, you're dealing not just with um, a single patient, you're dealing with perhaps multiple caregivers, mom, dad, siblings, or other, other family members. So there are multiple stakeholders and multiple patients or customers, as you can think about it, when it comes to our, the, the care that our, our, that our clinical teams are providing. So reducing burnout and really retaining our workforce is also a really big goal for us. And then lastly, I would just say operational efficiency. We're always trying to do things better, faster, and cheaper. How, how are the hospitals feeling the workforce crisis? We are definitely seeing some of the same attrition rates, burnout rates as the rest of the healthcare industry. So we are we want to make sure that we are focused on innovation that not only supports our patient and family experience, but also that supports our physicians and our clinical teams as well. Because if there are ways that we can make their job easier, it, it's a win for everyone, for our employees and for our patients. 